What's up everybody, Paul Carl here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys the fastest way possible to inventory your cards. This is how you can take a big pile of whatever set you're working on, sort them while inventorying the cards to your computer so that you can take that inventory and use it for your eBay listings or for like sports lots or whatever you're, whatever you're using. This is the fastest way to do this. What you're going to see right now is the tool from Google, voice typing. You need to have Google Chrome to do this, and then you can use a free Google Docs account. When you click voice typing, it brings up this little microphone. You click this, and then you can start speaking, and it turns it into text. 158, comma, 200, comma, 193, comma, 243, comma, 337, comma, 83, comma, 331, comma, 263, comma, 68 comma now we have all of our card numbers entered into the computer we have our cards sorted they're in the box and ready to go uh, the only problem is we have issues like this where four is spelled out or three is spelled out or a number is treated like a time and has a semicolon um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to copy this we're going to go to excel and we're just going to paste it right in um, in google they add a one so you got to just delete that um, so here we're going to go do some macros. So I have this macro count cleaner. I click that button. All the text is changed into a number. All the semicolons are removed. Everything's good. So go to data, text to columns, delimited. Next, this is going to take away all our commas and spaces. Now all of our numbers are in cells. So we can copy this. I'm going to transpose it so it goes down instead of horizontally. Um, so now what we do, go back to my little eBay tab here. Now we have the, cow, the, the card counter. I click this button, 550 cards are in the set. Boom, everything's counted. We use a count if formula. So one, it searches this whole column. How many numbers do we have in here? We have about a thousand cards. So it searches that thousand cards for the card number one and counts how many times it shows up, then does it for two, and it does this for every card in the set. So now we know how much quantity we have in the set. Now here we go over here, I have a checklist. How you get this checklist is another video. Um, I also have the file name for the image for these cards. So we have another little magic button here. I'll show you first, we have a blank eBay uh, sheet here where all your eBay information goes. This is what you upload in the reports tab. So I'm going to click this little checklist the eBay button. I'm going to wait a couple seconds. And while this is loading, um, for the images, I automate my image editing with Photoshop with a batch command. There is a video on my channel on how to do that, so you can check that out if you're interested in automating your image editing. Um, but anyways, this is done now, so we can go to upload. You can see everything's in here. So I'm just going to add my Clear Ultra Football is where this is. So I'll just do a few of those so that way I can do the power fill. Now I can upload this to eBay. I copy and paste it into a different sheet so I can save it as a CSV for eBay. And oh, just kidding. <laughs> Got to get our uh, quantities here first. So we just go paste values text. So now we have all the quantities here and uh, now it's ready to be saved and export or imported into eBay. I don't know how long this particular batch took me. Um, I was interrupted a few times, but the beauty of this is you can just turn off the voice text thing. You click this little button, toggles on and off. You can just turn it off, walk away, do what you gotta do, come right back to it. Um, I've done this, I've timed it before where I was uninterrupted and I was able to add 3,000 cards to my store in about an hour. Uh, it's pretty much the fastest way you can go about listing cards like these to eBay, like your base cards or anything that you're going to have quantity of. Um, in terms of how you set up the macros, that is, there's a lot to explain there and it's pretty complicated. Um, I've been thinking about maybe turning these macros into like an Excel add-on so that people could install it onto their own copy of Excel. Um, so I have to look into that. Um, the other way to do it is I could create an Excel sheet that has the macros saved to them and share those with people. 
but it's not as useful if it's not customized to use like your store, you, your, you name your business policy. So you're gonna need your business policy names, you're gonna need like your description boilerplates. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to be customized in the code to make it work perfectly. Um, so I'm thinking I might do a video to show how to do that or if there's anybody who just wants to like hire me or something to tweak one for them and send it over, you can let me know. You can send me a DM on Twitter at Paul Carl Digital. In addition to the macros, something else that you'll need to do uploads this way is image hosting. And I host my images myself on a digital ocean droplet. Um, there's a link in the description that'll give you some free credits if you want to play with it. Um, I also have a domain name associated with my droplet for so there's a url for every image um, and then i upload the images via ftp which is actually the longest part of this process um, so one thing i caught i accidentally left in the, the pound sign in all my image titles here and that sometimes causes problems with the url where ebay won't be able to recognize it so since i have the excel sheet ready without the pound sign it's stripped in here. Now I gotta strip it from here. So there's this tool for Windows called Power Rename. It's from, it's something like, I forget, it's like toys. Some, there's toys in the name. It's like a Windows utility. So I'm just gonna delete this. So what it, this does is it finds the pound sign in the title and it replaces it, in this case, with nothing, like a normal find and replace. So just like that, all my titles are done. They're all renamed. And now this is a FileZilla here. I'm just gonna refresh, make sure this all looks good. Um, I do my uploads by date. So what I'm going to do is go back to my root folder here and I'm gonna create a new directory and enter it. This is gonna be 2023-02-14. And now I just click the top one, shift click to the bottom upload so these images are all uploading I like to wait until the images are done uploading before I upload the Excel sheet to eBay um, you could upload the Excel sheet while the images upload and eBay will find the new images as they get uploaded but I'd rather just have all the images done ahead of time just in case on the off chance somebody has this on like a watch list or something um, I want them to actually see the image when they look at the card or look at the listing. Um, one other thing you'll notice here is with the the macro, I do a little like some basic SEO stuff, like I put an H1 tag with the card title in, um, just a little basic stuff like that. Uh, sometimes what I'll do too is in the macro for a set, I might write like a little blurb or summary about the set and stick that in there too. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can do, um, and. I'm always looking for new ways to make things faster. That's while I'm sitting here reading off numbers and commas like a psychopath. <laughs> my brain is just thinking of, all right, how can I do this faster? What's, what's the next the next innovation here? Um, but anyway, I hope this was interesting to you. I hope this gives you some ideas on ways that you can improve your systems and your efficiency. And if you see anything that I'm doing that you think could be faster, uh, let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching.